Question 1196. What is the worst thing you've ever walked into and did you apologize? Walked into, like walked in on? No, into. Like, do, 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 splat. Did you walk into a door and apologize to the door? I've never walked into a door. <laughs> They've never apologized Have you to walked door. out in the middle of the night, Dave, and walked through a spider web and had a heart attack? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my God, there's yeah. a thousand baby spiders in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, you ever walked into? I, walked I walked in into uh, my grandmother um, changing her shirt and <laughs> changing her bra. So... The, at the at the worst time possible, it's it's never left me. I, I, I'm thinking of it now, unfortunately. Yeah, thanks for that. Because now I'm thinking of something. Dave. Yeah, yeah. I, I too actually, had a fun experience. Actually, that's I've odd. Forgotten. Thank you for bringing it back to the front. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we, and we I need to clarify, given right that the chat is as now, right? Because apparently you don't you don't have the terminology I have. They're saying, "Do you bumped mean bumped into, into or entered?" I mean bumped into. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. So I'll give my answer then. Like it still doesn't matter in thinking of that evil it, thing. It was the, the, you know how the door is open, so you've got the tiny little slat, you know, of the open door. That fucking hurts to walk into. I so know <laughs> I didn't apologize, but it was yeah. fucking painful. So, there you go. I mean, I've walked splat bang straight into a lamppost and apologized. <laughs> really cracked my head. <laughs> I've uh I've already given like my most embarrassing story ever away. So, but like no, at, at my job, um, I'm six foot five, and uh, we have this little wall um that's six feet and it's concrete, and if I don't duck, um, then I knock myself out, and I've done that several times. So, <laughs> I was watching. Oddly enough, I was watching um uh oh, who's, who's the YouTube channel that's it's, it's like Smarter Every Day or something like that. And he's currently on a nuclear sub, or his, his videos are all about him being on a nuclear sub. And he's talking to the mariners, and there's there's two mariners on board this submarine at the moment that are six five and six seven. And he's like, "How do you survive yeah, here? Everything that is doesn't lower. sound fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'd get so I'd get so claustrophobic." <laughs> I have been underneath the car with a low hanging exhaust and the car running and I've been working at it like this and turned around and walked forward and I have burnt the oh. whole top of my oh. fucking forehead there about that size of a scab, like a burn mark walking into the fucking exhaust. Like I didn't apologize to the exhaust, took a bar to the ramp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You murdered I, I don't apologize. I, I curse and scream. Yeah. Well, I apologize. I do. I just did it's for the instinct. door. But... Uh, Sab says, I apologize. Uh, apologizing to lamppost is normal. Uh, Lone Wanderer says, I knocked my head on a housekeeping card and apologized to the manager who called me a stupid, useless bitch. Why didn't you punch him? Um, Harmonica Man says, I walked into a wall once, apologizing. Then again, which one, one of us was plastered? That's terrible. That's part of a door with the door open and I've turned around and just walked and just went straight into that part of the fucking door. Like yeah, that's the part that the I worst ran thing, into. The worst it thing hurt. I ever walked into didn't entail an apology because it wasn't uh, a thing you would apologize to. Uh, I used to deliver papers in the little town I grew up in. And uh, in the wintertime, I would take a shortcut across the creek when it was frozen over and uh, go to my grandfather grandfather's house, who was my last delivery every day and then hang out with him for a while. And one day I stepped off onto the ice and it broke right through and I got uh, down on the water, like up to my waist and I got out and I walked the rest of the way. I had to go all the way around. I couldn't cross. I had to go all the way around the train bridge. And by the time I got halfway to my grandfather's house, I was I was walking peg leg because my jeans were completely frozen. Within this last couple of days, I've changed the water tank in the attic, right? Because the old one was metal and there was rust in the pipes. I put a new plastic one in. And man, I'll tell you, I think it was that night, I turned around to get and she's like, do you know you have a cut in your head there? And I was like, yeah, and there's one on that side as well. <laughs> was in the attic, going underneath the rafters, I went down that way and come up and fucking hit my head. So the next time I was like, I'll be smart. I'll fucking go under this way. Still fucking clap my head. 
much enough for me to say to the fucking head. Like, yeah, I'll tell you what, I had this this landlord and I did some work for one time, and he had roofed his own like uh, he had like a it wasn't it was a garage at one point, but he had built it up so his sister could have a store in there. And uh, she had collected all this stuff over the years for a store that was up in the attic. And they hired me to go up there and straighten everything out. And here, when he had roofed his, uh, when he had put the roof on, he used nails that he had. And so the nails were like three inches through the roof boards and mm-hmm. like hundreds of nails popping out of the roof, you know. <laughs> and I'm walking around there, like trying to crouch down and not a pale my head on a freaking nail, man. <laughs> Okay, I got two, and you all can tell me which is worse. One was a goose walking through the tall grass, uh, <laughs> uh, looking, for, looking for a golf ball. And if you ever done it with a goose sitting on its nest, they rear up like a fucking cobra, open their mouth, and shoot out this spiky barbed tongue, uh, which is terrifying when you're when you're like eight years old. Uh, the other one would be a uh, I. I was running playing uh, tag as a kid and I ran neck first into a clothesline like at oh, night. Oh, I've done that. I've done that. that. <laughs> I've done that. Um, no, and it, I like, went up in the air and I had like a line on my neck. It was it was a pretty rough situation. I bet the goose was terrifying. So oh. yeah, I, I thought of another one. A homemade go kart, forgetting to put brakes on it, going down a hill like this, <laughs> and losing control at the bottom in a pair of shorts, no top on. Straight into the hedge, and the hedge just completely made of nettles. <laughs> My entire body was just. <laughs> it's like they took me. They took me camping one time. My buddies when I was in high school, and uh, they had these enduro bikes there, and they were riding them through the woods and everything. And I watched them. I had never really driven a motorcycle or anything before. I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. And so I went and hopped on one of them, start tooling through the woods. Well, unbeknownst to me, the brakes were out on the one that I got on. And uh, because the way they were doing it, they were just using the clutch and, and all that to, to slow it down. And I didn't know anything about that shit. And I hit a big root and I flew probably 20 feet head first into a tree off of that darn thing. <laughs> That's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> I could continue, but Amanda will just shout out. Shut the fuck up, Robbie. We need to move on to the next question. Yeah. Just let me finish the chat. Uh, Chad says, I've walked into a parked car, and of course I apologised, it's reflex. But you're Canadian. Uh, Ox, oh, Ox says the movie you were talking about was The Arrival. Yeah, yeah that was it. Yep, yep. Uh, Thank never you. Again, <laughs> never again says, I don't apologise for nano objects. If I run into them, I curse my lack of attention to where I'm going. Nanimate mm-hmm. objects usually move. <laughs> Uh, Sam says, I've walked into a war memorial and apologised. War memorials don't tend to jump out at you. <laughs> I mean, I've had lampposts jump out into the middle of the road. You've had a lamppost jump out into the middle of the road. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just making sure. That's okay. I'm just making sure. I'm fucking lamppost. In America, in yeah, America it depends on the war memorial, because certain ones deserve a boot. So. <laughs> well, I mean, you've got the, the Vietnam memorial, which is, you know, Hard to see if you're too close or something. I don't know. You could possibly yeah. walk into that, I guess, because it's the reflection thing. Uh, I could be have a, a joke there, honey. Missed it. It was no joke. I'm just saying, if in terms of walking into a war memorial, that would be the one because it's a, it's just a big fucking mirror. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, yeah. Uh, computer chick again misunderstood the same way you did. When I was a kid, seeing my parents have sex, I didn't want to see that. <laughs> Uh, never yeah. again. Okay, I walked through a new sliding door screen once. It was clean. I didn't sit. Oh, I've got a good one for that. And my dad was not happy about it. But when he saw the entire door just popped out and couldn't put, be put back in. Um. Oh, Lem Wondrous says, John, didn't you apologize to to the cokes that you dropped the other day? Well, I, I missed that. I'm sorry. Didn't you apologize to <laughs> the cokes you dropped the other day? The cokes. Coca Cola. <laughs> Soda. Oh, all oh, right, yeah, because I dropped, I dropped some pop when I was walking home. Yeah, yeah. No, didn't apologize to him. Fuck him. Pop. Uh, we had no, it's soda. It's not pop. It's, it's not fucking pop. soda. <laughs> Brian is right. We, we had in Michigan. <laughs> we say pop. I know. It's, it's neither. About it. It's whatever it's called. 
Uh, we had a, <laughs> we had a patio door uh, uh, when I was ooh, about twelve, and patio door had this plastic insert that just sits on it that makes it makes it a cheap way of making it look like it's multiple with small windows. And our Jack Russell was always trying to escape, and one night the the plastic thing came off, and my dad just put it to one side. Oh, we won't worry about it. So the next morning, the Jack Russell comes down, sees what he thinks is the open patio door, and he just full pelt runs straight at it and into it. <laughs> he knocked wow. himself out. Holy shit! Oh. <laughs> Um, Terrible, but hilarious. Doors of a, a, are bad like that. Mum would have said it, <laughs> and the amount of little birds that flew into Mum's patio doors, like it was a big side of the fucking building, was just glass. And the amount of birds that you just hear thud. What the fuck was that? You open the patio door, there's a bird on the ground going. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can can we go to the second question now? It's been we, uh, I've got one more to read, then we might make it to the second question. Uh, I was fishing. Uh, I was fishing in a small boat with my father. He was casting his rod. I stood up when he didn't know and casted, and nailed my head with his law. Treble hooks. It needed a doctor to take it out. Ow! Ow! <laughs> if you enjoyed that, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. If you think you've got a better answer or just want to tell us how wrong we are, leave a comment down below. Subscribe down here for new questions every day and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on our live shows. If you click over here, you'll see our latest upload. Over here for what YouTube thinks you'll love the most. And finally, for a complete playlist of all our currently recorded least questions, click here. <laughs>